Hi, today we are going to be looking at improper fractions. Now, it sounds like they're a bit, um, what's the word? Improper doesn't sound like they're quite right, does it? But it doesn't mean that. It means an improper fraction is a fraction that has a numerator bigger than its denominator. So, for example, um, we could say five halves. Okay, so five is bigger than two. So this is called an improper, or sometimes it's called top-heavy. I think it's easier to remember top-heavy because you can tell it's top-heavy because it's heavier, bigger at the top than it is at the bottom. Okay, so we'll be looking at these improper or top-heavy fractions. And we're going to be looking at converting top-heavy fractions into what we call mixed numbers. Uh, so this is another new word for you, another new phrase. Mixed numbers are number, numbers and fractions together. So um, one and a half is a mixed number. Seven and three quarters is a mixed number because it's a mixture of a whole number and a fraction. Okay, so you've learnt three, well, two new things. So improper or top heavy fractions and mixed numbers. So today's objective is to get you converting between the two. So we'll start off by looking at um, top heavy fractions and converting them into mixed numbers and then you'll have a chance to convert some mixed numbers into top heavy fractions. Um, and then this will follow on next week where we'll look at adding fractions with different denominators as well and you're going to find you get some answers with which is improper or top heavy. Um, so you need to know how to convert those top heavy fractions into mixed numbers. Okay, I hope that all makes sense so far. So, if we start off by looking at, if we had five thirds. Okay, so we've got five thirds. Now hopefully you can all see, or you all know, that in one whole one there are three thirds. Okay, so if you look at that, we've got five thirds. What the sum we're actually doing is saying how many threes go into five. And with a fraction, I think I've said this before, the line in the middle is a dividing line. And it, what it actually means is this number divided into this number. So we can work out our answer. We say how many threes into five? Well, threes go into five once. So that's our whole number. And then we've got two left over, two remaining. So that's and two, so then we've got two thirds left over. Okay. If you are not sure about that, I will draw you five thirds so you can see. It's quite hard to draw thirds. There you go. Not a brilliant picture, but you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five thirds, which is one whole one, and two thirds. Okay. So the key to doing this is division, division with remainders, and your whole number answer is the whole is the number of is your actual whole numbers, and your remainder is the fraction. And when you're dealing with um, improper fractions and converting them to whole numbers, the denominator stays the same. Okay, you don't change the denominator. So if we look at another one, um, let's try nineteen six. Okay, we've got 19 over 6, or 19 divided by 6. Remember, that's the dividing line, 19 divided by 6, uh, which is very straightforward. So how many 6s in 19? Well, that's 3, so we're going to write that down, equals 3. So we've got 3 whole ones, and we've got 1 left over. And that 1 is 1 6, because we're dealing with 6. Okay? So 19 6 equals 3 and 1 6. Okay, let's do one more to make sure. Oh, my pen lid's fallen on the floor. Um, let's do 44 fifths. Okay, so we're looking at this sum again. We've got 44 divided by 5, or 5's into 44. So 5's into 44 goes 8, 5 eighths of 40. So we've got, that gives us 8 whole ones, 
and then we've got four left over, so that means it's eight and four fifths. Okay, when you write your answers, try and make sure that your fractions are smaller than your whole numbers. Okay, so otherwise it looks like 84 fifths, it needs to be eight and four fifths. Right, so that is converting top heavy or improper fractions into mixed numbers. Now we're going to go back the other way. Okay, um, so if I give you a mixed number now, you need, we need to um, convert this into an improper fraction. So we start with five and a fifth. How are we going to do that? Now, when we were going the other way, we were dividing. So this time we're going to multiply. Okay, so we're doing the inverse, the opposite. Remember, the inverse is the opposite. So the inverse of dividing is multiplying. So to that, so now we multiply. So now we're looking at the denominator. It's really important again. We're dealing with fifths, and we've got five whole ones. So first thing we're going to do is do five times five. Okay, which gives us twenty-five. So in five whole ones, we've got twenty-five fifths. And then we've got one extra one here. So it's going to be 25 plus 1, which makes 26. So the answer is 26 fifths. Now, if you're not sure, you can work it out, can't you? If you think you've got the wrong answer, then make, work it out. So 5's into 26 goes 5 remainder 1, doesn't it? 5 remainder 1. So we've got the right answer there. We'll do two more just to make sure. So let's try three and eleven twelfths. Okay, so we're dealing with twelfths. We've got our denominators are twelfths. And we've got three whole ones. So we're going to do three times twelve to get our whole ones. So three times twelve is thirty-six. And then we have to add these eleven extra twelfths to thirty-six. So in in three whole ones, we've got 36 twelfths plus 11 is 47. Oh, I had to think there. So that gives us 47 twelfths. Okay. Remember, we can check it if we need to by just by going back the other way. 12s into 47 goes 3 remainder 11. So we know we're right. Okay. Last one. Um, let's see, what should we do? Uh, 7 and 1 eighth, this isn't too tricky. So, we've got 7 whole ones and 1 eighth. So we've got to convert our 7 whole ones into eighths. So, in, so we do 7 times 8, okay, which is 56. So in 7 whole ones we've got 56 eighths plus that one extra, so it's going to be 56, 57 eighths. Okay, double check. How many eighths in 57? Seven, remainder one. Okay, so your task today, I've given you um, section B and section C on the attachment to do. Section B is all top heavy fractions Oh, no, it's not. No, it starts off, first one's a top heavy fractions converting into mixed numbers, and then questions 7 to 12 are mixed numbers into top heavy fractions. Um, and then you've got C. C's a bit more tricky. The first 12 questions are improper fractions, and the next 12 are mixed numbers, and you're just changing over. So that's quite a lot of information. Um, what I'd like you to do before you move on to actually doing your work, can you please have a look at the um, my maths clip that I've attached as well? Okay, so before you do the work, just watch the my maths lesson, then do B, and if you've got time, you can move on to C. That is quite a lot of work today. Okay, if you've got any questions, come to the Zoom session at 10:45. Be brilliant. I'll see you later.